Today, I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been doing to make better barbecue. Let's go. All right, what I've done for years is I started with salt, garlic salt, pepper, That's that was my base, right? And then I'd let the smoke do the talking. It's good, you can do that. Uh, but what I'm looking for is a more impactful wow for anyone that comes over and tries my barbecue for myself. You know, salt and pepper goes a long way for a lot of things, but for years and years, just using salt and pepper, you can see in some of these older barbecue pictures, it just didn't take the cake like I used to think it did. So I want the smoke to do the talking, but to the main point, layering, layering your barbecue. I want you to start applying more than one rub. Now, this primarily goes with pork and chicken. Beef, we'll talk about in a minute. But pork and chicken, I want you to start applying more than just one rub. What I would do for years is I would come home, I saw this at the store, and I'd grab it, right? Couldn't wait to try it out on my... Wait, wait a second. I want to know exactly from you if you've done exactly that. Leave a comment below. Did you go to the store, buy one rub, and just put that on your barbecue? Did you? Gotta try this. All my spare ribs, all my chicken. I wanted to take this rub and just apply it and then let the smoke do the talking. Boom, there we go. I saw this video on Heath Riles where his competition ribs, his competition ribs, he used four different things of rub. He used four different things of rub. That's a lot. That's something I never ever thought to even think about doing. And I'm gonna tell you, I did it. And you should watch that video right here. But what I'm primarily trying to get to is you really need to start using rubs. I'm gonna apply this rub on here real quick. We're gonna throw it on the pit and I'm gonna show you exactly what this turns out to be and why you might not wanna use four, but two is just the right amount. Now, the reason I think four is just way too many is that's for a competition. In a competition, the judges take one bite and you have that one bite to impress them with all the flavors and everything going on. In your backyard, you wanna eat two or three, if not six ribs. If you put competition style rubs on your ribs every single weekend, it's not gonna turn out as good as you want it to be because you're gonna get sick and tired of eating it that way. That's why I think you need a layer with a minimum of two and probably just keep it there. What you wanna find is a sugary rub, all right? I like this one, plenty of sugar, honey, bacon, barbecue, meat, church, you guys probably know that. And then for my little bit more kick to it today, I'm using hot, dirty bird, but you can use whatever you want. The premise here is I want you to get two different styles of rubs. I want sultry and I want sweet, all right, to balance that out. Or if you want to, you can play with it. But the most important part I'm talking about right now is getting your rubs, getting your food layered. When I mention layered, this is what we're talking about. Last thing I wanna leave you with on this video is start cooking at 275. I promise you 275, get away from 225, low and slow, I get it. It's like the holy grail. No, I'm telling you, 275, you're gonna get amazing fat. It's gonna turn over. It's gonna taste like candy. Trust me, I've been cooking at 275 and this past year my barbecue keeps getting better and better. 275, I'll do a whole nother video on that. I'll keep you posted. I wanna know, can we do this with brisket, right? Salt, pepper, that's the Texas way, uh, is layering. Have we been missing the boat? I, I honestly don't know the answer. I'm gonna find out by watching this video right here. I'm gonna do this experiment and we're gonna learn together. Should we be layering with a sultry and sweet, two different rubs on our brisket? Let's find out. Watch this video right now.